And if you get the keystrokes down, get all those magic key combinations, you'd be as fast with this as you are with any other editor. Yeah. And it's just as gratifying. Mm -hmm. So in conclusion, let me say, I love the crap out of this editor. <laughs> it, is, it is really worth trying. Thanks for, for those of you who downloaded it while you were listening. Um, give it an honest, the way it happened to me is I was a BD editor. Have you ever heard of BD editor? I was a BD edit user, tried and true. You know, I was a BD editor for 10, 12 years probably. Um, and paid for all the upgrades. BB. BD edit. Um, and I said, okay, I'm going to give Sublime Text a real chance. I'm going to give it two weeks. Two weeks and I don't touch BD edit. And when I need to figure out how to do something, I look up the damn keystroke. So I, I did that, and that two weeks was enough to convince me that Sublime Text was a, a vastly superior editor. It doesn't do all of the individual things that BB Edit does, but you can always get a package that does. I wonder if he said it's a one guy, though. I wonder, he's Australian, so it's hard to know. Because they don't even use money, right? Don't they use beer? Australian. Well, <laughs> they use beer. They handle the trade. You know, I found out Foster's just Canadian. They say that Australians hate beer. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's only two outback restaurants in Australia. It's for Americans to go to get food that they think is Australian. Yeah. Yeah. Do they talk that way on the commercials? <coughs> Jeez. To, to make the Americans happy. Also, not, not, um, and everybody knew this except me, not Australian, the Subaru. Yeah, I never thought Subaru was Australian. Don't you remember all the commercials with Crocodile Dundee oh, and the Subaru yeah. Outback? It's an Outback! <laughs> oh. uh, it's a Japanese car. Yeah. <laughs> I never for a moment even thought Subaru was Australian. No, no, it doesn't even sound. There's something wrong with me. Do Australians even make cars? What? Oh, yeah, they have Australian cars. Not only that, you know the British show Top Gear? Uh, I don't watch it, but I know of it because it's on BBC America. Yeah. Right. The Australians have their own version of Top Gear populated with Australian hosts. Americans. And they work with Australian cars. The Americans have a top gear? Yeah, there's a top gear American. Yeah. There is. Then why are yeah. we watching the one channel? One channel is <laughs> a, the one in Great Britain is better. Uh, History Channel or one of the, uh, one of those. Okay. Yeah, they, there's a lot of effort in them, uh, on the American side to try and port over BBC shows with varying success. Most of it bad. They'll never be able to make a Doctor Who, which is strange until I watch on that channel. Yeah. Yeah. Just did yeah, there's, like you said, rare exception. Yeah. They, they do a very good job. I mean, the office, who's everyone can relate to. Okay, whose line is it? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a, an amazing editor. Well, like I said, there's two very smart people that I know that are telling me I should be looking at it closely. Uh, Wolf is one of them. It's, I'm going to give him a try. Is it Marlon? Is it Marlon, Marlon, yeah. Marlon's the other one. So do you have, like, a favorite feature? of the text editor, or favorite features? Hmm. I guess multi-edit. Multi-edit doesn't look like it's that special, or that you would use it that much, or that it's any different from uh, just find and replace all. But it is. <laughs> <laughs> and you get used to it, and you feel really good about having it. And you don't want to go to any editor that doesn't have it. Even though I know I could replace it with those other things, I don't want to. So yeah, multi-edit would be my favorite feature. But the whole the whole package thing, the, the fundamental power of the packages that you could install uh, is unbelievable. What, real quick, remind me, what where did you, you started typing a function name? or started writing a new function and got prompts for functions that you've written before that you that you set up. Uh -huh. Where did those pull from again? 
It parses the file. It parses your file. So it's other functions in the same file. Yeah. Okay. It knows in did I close that file already? So if you wrote one function, you might want to write another one very much like it. Right. Yeah, in in, in Go in particular, if you're writing a function that that is uh, takes as a receiver the point of the inset, probably you're writing a class, the equivalent of a class for inset, and you want to write a bunch of functions that have pointer right. inset and receiver right. class. Yeah. So that's coming from the Go plugin? That's coming from Go Sublime plugin, right. which I highly recommend. If you guys are going to do any Go, Go Sublime, get that back. Oh, but if I were doing JavaScript, is there a feature like that for any JavaScript code? The, uh, I use the jQuery plugin, the, J, the JavaScript JS snippets. Um, and they do a lot, like, hmm. Hmm. you know, I'll never understand how that one works. Maybe I've broken it by doing something. Because it doesn't seem useful to have key there. Value. But that's one of the things that JavaScript gives you. <coughs> Yeah, we'll find out what that does. When you when you install a package that uh, <laughs> excuse me Plus. is big and complex, then generally after it installs, and you can see it's installing here. Um, generally, after it installs, no, it's installed and it did not open up a. Usually, it gives you a file that says what that what that package does. But now I just have to look on. Uh, All right. Is there a key to bring up help that would you can help search the help in there to see that? Uh, help, help help doesn't do what you want. Okay. Help well, it's a graphic editor, so it wouldn't be a key to do it. Like, my complaint about Emacs was I never know how to get out of it. This is easy to get out of it. So yeah. yeah. Plus an X. Plus the X. Yeah, the corner. Alt yeah. 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 <laughs> and Alt and Ford. Alright, very nice. I'll mail you this file. Yeah. Yeah, mail me that. I'll, uh, I'll get it to Craig or somebody to get it up on the website. Okay. That's my presentation. Super. Thank you very much.